Hey guys, how you doing? Eric SoCal Cigars here. So I'm doing the video I promised I was going to do next on my last video, even though it's been a minute. Sorry about that. Um, life happens sometimes. So, But I'm back in action here. Um, I love gadgets. And almost anything that I do, whether, you know, whatever hobby I have, I, I kind of always have loved the gadget aspect of, of, of a hobby. Um, <clears throat> just, I don't know, it makes things fun. I think it's cool. Um, whether it's everyday carry stuff or firearms or off-roading or trucks or vehicles, whatever you're, whatever you're into, there's always gadgets involved. And in the cigar world, there are too. Um, but most of them are, are kind of functional gadgets. They're more in terms of lighters, cutters, uh, you know, maybe the pokers for a draw. Then you start to get into things that are may maybe not as, imp is, is not as important, but not as necessary, like you can't live without them type thing. That's where you get into more like like a you know a cigar holder like the you know the little prong things with the the to hold the little nub, um, <clears throat> uh, so you can smoke the cigar all the way down. Like on my my Harley, I've got a like a little clamp on cigar holder. That's kind of a cool gadget, not necessarily necessary like a cutter or lighter, but kind of fun. Anyway, this is definitely in the category of not really needed, but kind of fun. And this is uh, made by Cigar Medics, and it is their humidity meter see if we can get that to focus well because i want you to be able to see what's on there uh, i got this off amazon it was only i think it was in the 20 dollars range i'll put all the data below um so you can go ahead and order one if you want but um <clears throat> i've never used one in fact since i got it i have not even opened it staple is still in it i wanted to do this together i had no idea how to use it i've never used it this has been my first time we'll do this together for the first time Looks pretty simple. It looks like it just uh, has a, a cap on the top that you take off and then you press a button and it will give you an instant read on the prongs that are now stuck into your cigar. And based on the picture on the back, they're showing it that you're just putting it into the foot of the cigar and getting a humid humidity reading. What I want to do as well is after I cut the cigar, I want to put in the other end because what I'm actually curious about <clears throat> is what's the difference in the humidity reading from the foot versus where you're going to make the cut on the cap end. Um, and again, just for reference, I pulled this out of my humidor and it was exactly, my humidor was exactly at 70% relative humidity. Um, <clears throat> so that's that. Let me just run down the back here. It says, uh, operations, remove the battery tab, press on, 0% will appear. <clears throat> Clean the probes with a dry cloth, insert the meter into the probes into the foot, Oh, and it says and or cap of the cigar. Okay, that's good. Allow up to five to 10 seconds um, as it will accurately calculate and display humidity percentage on the screen. Refer to the chart for gen as a general reference and automatic power off. It does say that um, relative humidity and then they have notes. So it says relative humidity zero to 60% uh, evaporation of natural oils, crackling and breaking of outer wrapper, bur a fast burn and bitter taste. 60 to 70% relative humidity on the cigar their note is that would be slow, even burn and smoke, smooth, even draw, optimal flavor and taste, 70% or higher, it says difficult to draw or smoke, um, uneven burn, tunneling, increased probability of mold. Okay, so again, most of us that have a humidor are going to re be relying on our, um, our um, hygrometer that's inside there. To me, this is more an on the go kind of fun thing but it is interesting to see again if I pulled this out and I let's see I pulled this out of this out of the humidor 10 minutes ago 70% exactly so I'm really curious to see what this is going to read um, <coughs> and I guess even for a gauge we should have a pairing right what pairs good with a plastic humidity gauge I would I'm thinking it's going to be uh, this German beer I don't know we had it in the fridge we had a bunch of people over from Denmark, and so we got a bunch of Danish and German beers. And I think that if I'm going to pair with hard plastic electronic device, I think that this German beer would be fantastic with that. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Okay. So let's start. Start by opening the package. Okay. A little staple at the top, then it clamshells open. This little card I would probably just keep for reference, and then this thing comes out. Okay, let's see what we got here. So it comes with a little lanyard. 
Um, on the back it just has a serial number probably. It says you know, caution sharp probes. It does have one of these little tabs that you pull out so that the battery will operate. So let's go ahead and pull that out. So now we have engaged the battery. And let's hit on. And it's on. And if you can see on there, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see or not, but it does say, like it said on the instructions, it shows zero, zero percent. And it, I guess, and it already went off. So it is, again, the auto off feature clearly works as well. So let's set that down. <clears throat> let's get our, our bag of our gadget bag. See how all this works together? Isn't that fantastic? I'm gonna get our cutter. Um, we're not gonna like this one. This is, <clears throat> this is just gonna be the video for the uh, Calibri. I'll, I'll review this as well, but not on this video. This will just be for this little gauge. Look at this one. This is actually just so I'll let you know. This is the Man of, Man of War uh, Virtue 10th Anniversary Edition. I got this from my uh, brother-in-law and sister-in-law Connie and Moose. It's a nice little box press. I love the shape. So, first thing I want to do, I'm going to pull this cap off. Oh, oh, that's kind of interesting. Look, the the lanyard goes through the cap, so it doesn't you don't lose that. And those are sharp. So we're gonna go ahead and, I'm not sure if I need to stick it in there and then turn it on or just, I guess I'll stick it in and then turn it off. Okay, can you see this? I'm just gonna jab this in there. Okay, we're all the way in to where we're deadened out here and I'm gonna hit it. And it is saying, that's interesting. This is saying it's 50% humidity. That's very interesting because I pulled it out of my humidor that is exactly 70% humidity. So now I put it at a, at a different angle. So I'm wondering how accurate this thing's really gonna be here. It's kind of jumping all over the place. Okay, it looks like it's settled on, well, it's jumped from 45 to 50, 55 to 65. So I'm not really sure what to think about that. So when I first put it in, before it kind of jumps around, it said 60. Now it seems to be holding at 47. So I would argue this thing's all over the place. <clears throat> Maybe I'm not supposed to put it in so far. I assume I put it all the way in. So all the way in, when I, when you first, it looks like when you first put it in, it reads pretty quickly. And it read 50, about 58, which is odd though, because again, this was in a humidor that was at 70% exactly. <clears throat> All right, so let's cut this thing. Let's see what happens on the other end. So I'm curious to see. I don't know if I can get both probes in there or not. I'm gonna let's just try one for now and see what happens. So it's got to be both probes. That's okay. That's gonna be a thing too. So on the other end. So it stopped at 55. When I first stick it in there, it was 66. So it's kind of hard to tell because when I first when I first put it in, and sorry, I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. When you first put it in there, it shows like a higher reading. Let's see if I can get this to work. See, and then it jumps all over the place. So I would argue, I'm not sure how much I like this. I'm not sure how much I like how all over the place this thing is. I mean, I, there's really no, there's nothing on the instructions that really say anything about, because it just says remove battery tab, okay, clean, clean post, insert probes completely into the foot, enter cap the cigar, allow humidity up to five to 10 seconds as it will accurately calculate. So I think what's happening, and that's why it didn't work on its own, I think it's shooting an electronic pulse between the two to pick up the humidity. So it's saying five to 10 seconds. So let's put it in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So at 10, it's dropping, I mean, it's all the way down to 38 now, 39. 
So if you leave it in long enough, it looks like it stabilizes. So it's ranging from 38 to 41. So that's pretty far off though. If my, hum if my humidor is at 70% in there, and this thing's reading, I mean, that, that's a massive discrepancy. Very interesting. Because this is gonna, th this is gonna show, in that category, it shows evaporation of natural oils, crack cracking or breaking of outer wrapper, fast burn and bitter taste. That's what it's basically saying you're going to get out of a cigar when it's this humidity reading. Let's try this one more time on the on the cap. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So on the cap end, it's about a ten. <coughs> it's a ten percent difference from the cap to the. Um, foot of the cigar. So where I cut it from, so coming out of a 70% humidity environment, the, the uh, cap is at 50, the foot is at 40. That's a big jump. Let's try this one more, just one more, one more time. We'll do this. Let's see what it says. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. At 10, it seems to be stopping now. It's at 34%. So that's interesting. So I don't know if that means that the second you pull your cigar out of the humidor, it starts dropping immediately. Because I also kept it in the cellophane, as you saw, for the trip basically up from my office down to my backyard. That's all I really did was uh, that couple minutes, then just to start my camera. So, <clears throat> so I don't know. So let me see, there's a couple notes. It says, cal it says this thing calculates relative humidity based on 70 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, so we gotta factor that in. I think today is 74 out here. So it's pretty close. It says, optimal taste and flavor subject to personal preference and this device contains sharp objects. Okay, that's really it. So. Hmm. I, so I think for 20 bucks, it's interesting. Because what I would argue is if I was going to utilize a tool like this, I'm not so, so sure I would be looking at exactly what this reading is compared to like my humidor being 70%. What I would probably end up using a tool like this is I'd almost have to build my own base of reference and see if this makes sense. And again, I'm just thinking of off the top of my head here as I'm thinking about how this thing's reading. I would say that, for example, if this thing shows me 50% per per humidity at the uh, cap, and I smoke the cigar, and I like that, then I would say that that, that could give me a base range of saying, okay, if I'm, if I, if I, test my cigars and they're 50 to 55 then I know it's going to be a pretty good smoke how I, how I like it to be um, so I'd almost say I looks like what you can't do with this is expect to poke this thing in there and have it say 70 like it came out of the 70% environment because that's also 70% based on my humor is big too so um, oh no oh, I take that back this came out of my one of my tup, Tupperware doors so it was actually yeah it was a very small Tupper door, and it was literally I, before I even opened the lid. I looked at the little hydrometer, hygrometer, and it was seventy percent exactly, seven zero percent. <clears throat> so, so it's interesting that this thing reads so different. So, yeah, makes you wonder if this is worth worth it or not. I mean, I'm going to keep it, and I'll probably use it and play with it just to see what I end up thinking over time. But I will argue that. It's interesting because it makes you think: Is what's off here? Is this thing way off? Is my humidor off? Is my hygrometer off? So I guess that's one thing I'll have to play with. I'll recalibrate my hygrometer. I'll make sure that that environment's good. And what I can probably do is maybe I could even try putting this thing into the cigar in in the box and close it and just see if I can get it. You know, because maybe it does. Maybe it drops that hum humidity that fast. I have no idea. 
it's it, it, it begs the question of you know what's happening with the humidity and the discrepancy between the box and this thing interesting interesting um, so yeah jury's out a little bit on this would I say run out and buy one eh, I don't know if you're into gadgets and there's not tons of gadgets for the cigar world so this is definitely at least one of them interesting concept um, I would say if you like I said if you if you use this as a way to to test your cigar and just find what number you like on here like if you know that you need to up this maybe you need to up the humidity in your in your uh, humidor so that if it says it's 70 maybe go to 75 and see if this thing then pops up to 60 65 I mean, maybe that's where you like it so maybe this could be used as a tool that way to just kind of see where it all lands um, but again I was I was expecting to get a reading maybe 65 67 percent and I'm very shocked to see that it's in the 50s 40s and actually one of the readings was like literally 30 39 38 um, <clears throat> So now that my cigars have been sitting out here, let's just try it one more time, just for the hell of it. So it goes 56, 45, 44, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34. Okay, and then it stopped and it's been about 10 seconds so it stopped at 34 so according to this thing the cigar is out of a 70 percent humidity environment is now a 34 so i find that very interesting well or dis can just dis, disconcerting i don't know I'm not sure what i think i'm not sure if i like that or not it's kind of frustrating i was kind of hoping it would be a little more accurate at least in what i was anticipating was to like i said get a reading similar maybe within five percent from what my humidor is reading and that's definitely not the case so anyway i would say if you're into gadgets and you want to pick that up and you might find this interesting to screw around with i'd get one it's 20 bucks it's not like it's going to break the bank 100 <clears throat> percent um if you're looking for something that at least like my first thought was it was going to be like extraordinarily accurate you could really see what your cigars are sitting at I'm not sure, and probably until I use this a little more and, and try to figure this out a little more in depth. So again, if you're a gadget person and you just want to get some cigar gadgets, 20 bucks, you can get one of these little things. It's interesting to try it. Um, if you're looking for 100% accuracy, I would probably say the jury's out until a little more testing happens. So anyway, hopefully this was helpful. I guess it's at best for me, it's, it was a little confusing because um, it didn't give me the result I was kind of anticipating but again that's also why I wanted to do this live you know no editing this is just a straight shot <coughs> I wanted to open it with you guys and try it for the first time just to give you a completely unbiased you know here's here's how it's gonna go from you know no uh, no prep at all I literally opened it right now and tried it so Anyway, so I guess it's going to be kind of up to you whether it's something that you want to put into your gadget arsenal for your cigar enjoyment or not. I'll, uh, I'll keep you posted in the next few videos I do. I'll keep playing with this thing and seeing if I determine anything different about it. Um, so I'll, I will give you some updates. Um, maybe if you have one, give me comments below. Let me know if you've tried one of these and if what your thought is, whether it's worth using or if you found any different result than I'm seeing. Um, anyway, that's kind of today's video. Eric at SoCal Cigars. Hope you have a great rest of your day and uh, I will see you on the next video. Take her easy. Bye.